Hello everyone, welcome back to Pause from Plays Salt and Sanctuary. I'm outside the festering banquet here, kind of on um, one of the lower floors. I'll try to show off a little bit where the heck I actually am. Um, I'm not entirely sure where the heck I actually am. Um, oh, here we go, yeah, this is a good... been through this spot a billion times. Uh, it's kind of like the lower floor. And I was heading over to Bannett's Pass and found my way. That was that guy, the... Uh, the traveling guy. But anyway, there's this um, obelisk here we can use. Maybe. Please. There we go. And there's a treasure chest. And there's a gate to open, too. The treasure chest contains the onyx armor. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, but that stuff is heavy as heck. Can't actually. Oh, I can wear it. Uh, Cavalier's class 4. This is class 2. I can actually wear this. Um. Neat. Uh, this probably weighs like a bajillion. Um, let's see what it looks like though. Oh yeah, that is supremely heavy. Um, pretty cool though. Oh yeah, I <laughs> I literally can't even run because I guess I'm I'm actually overburdened. Um, oh goodness, that makes me so slow. Yeah, we're not gonna wear that right now. Um, kind of gives me some. I remember what I was wearing here. Gives me some impetus to pick up a whole bunch of endurance, though, because um, especially because I'm having so much trouble getting the, the roll to work the way I want. Um, can I open that? I'm gonna have to go back and look. I did. Um, yeah, because I'm having so much trouble getting the roll to work the way I want. I definitely feel like I need better armor. Um, by the way I want, I mean, it's not Dark Souls rolling, essentially. Yeah, I think if we go this way, this takes me to Bandit's Pass? Which is where I need to go next? Maybe? Yeah, there we go. I have taken a quick glance at a general map. Oh. We've been here before. Um, yeah. Alright, I've been here off camera, at least. I just came over here briefly. Um... But this is Devara's Light. Yeah. Um, these are the kind of like priest types. Yeah. Prayer types. Yeah, I haven't explored here yet. So yeah, I took a, a quick glance at uh, an overall, kind of like an overworld map. Um, they gave a few hints as to where to go when. So I might have some ideas Flanged mace and a bag of salts. Um, so I have a few ideas about where I can go next. And this is one of them that had a low number on it, so. Other than that, pretty much still flying blind here. Uh, let's see, do we want to climb? That, okay, I can climb on that. It's a little weird to see what... Okay, here we go. We have got an obelisk here. Storm Ring. All right, let's see what a Storm Ring does. It does... Elemental Magic. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what, what rings am I using now? All right, has Fatigue. Increased Endurance. Item Find. I don't know how effective the item find is, but... Seems like it would be a good thing. Now, my question is... I think this is a bad idea. Oh, I can't actually go... Okay. Never mind, then. Maybe it prevents you from falling into the sky. Maybe that's not actually a thing that happens. <laughs> Platoon crossbow. I believe that's the crossbow I already have. It's the one I started with. Oh, okay. Goodness, there are a lot of enemies here. Uh, Drowned Soldier's Ear might be one of the ones I need to turn in. There are a couple of new enemies here. It's like an axe thrower. Now fortunately, I feel like this is probably an area I could have come to earlier, so I'm going to be pretty strong here, I think. 
Got a raider's harness there. Uh, was a much heavier, a little bit better. Looks kind of weird. Get that raider's shield too. Ah, I, I kind of saw that coming. Um, but I wow. Not so good with the, uh, the accuracy, but that's why I have a bow. Uh, some arrows, raiders. We got the whole raider set, I think now. What kind of class armor is this? Class one heavy. All right, I don't actually know what that. Oh, maybe it was a helmet. That's not a bad look. Um, wait, I'm not finding a lot of gloves around here. I think that puts me a little... Puts me over 50%, though. I wish there was a um, an easy comparison without having to like scroll through all these, because I tend to get myself a little mixed up while I'm doing that. I'll probably go back to what I was using for now. Inventory management is a little is a little weird to me on this. Probably should use the uh, storage a little more. Wait, the gauntlet of enemies here, actually. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Apparently you can throw axes backwards. That's a hell of a trick. More flame arrows, nice. I have a lot of those now, actually. Looking for secret walls. Uh, infantry pole axe. Or pollux, if you will. So that's an elevator. Just a little light on the situation. Uh, there was a crossbow there, I think? I have to say, this light spell doesn't do quite as much as I was hoping. Chain armor... I think we might have the whole chain set now. Or at least a, a good chunk of it. I'm actually gonna refill my... F oh, I can't refill focus here. Because it's not my sanctuary, so I don't actually get that... Um, that flask when I rest. Ooh. That's a bit tricky. Seems like you always get your primary flask though, so I feel like almost I should just get more of those. Mm, I don't know. Um, before I head down, what is more out here? Alright, we have another one of these. Maybe downstairs is just a, um, blocked. Uh, maybe downstairs is, I do a, uh, maybe downstairs is just a shortcut. Uh, okay. I guess I can't use this. Must need a switch somewhere. Hmm. Alright, let's turn ourselves upside down. Um, well, that does do that. Can I, can I get the momentum to get up to that? Yeah, there we go. That's kind of a nifty thing. I kind of dig that. Uh, shock stone and bag of salt. Shock stone, I assume, is like a lightning version of our other stuff. Yeah, lightning weapon damage. I feel like I should probably use these throwing daggers up at some point, but just kind of sitting in my inventory. 
Uh, so that's why we needed that, basically. We couldn't get over here otherwise. Castle of Storms. So Bandit's Pass is pretty small. Who lives in the... Oh my. Uh, hello. Yes. I don't suppose you're friendly. Oh, definitely not. Okay. That does, like, very little damage. That does slightly more damage. Um, question is, how much health does this thing have? It actually takes more damage from the burning than the actual arrow, that's interesting. That's why you take a lot of damage from my throwing dagger, do you? <laughs> yeah. Can I bless a um a bow? Oh, you can. That's good to know. Seems to be stuck there. So let's just take advantage of that. There we go. Yeah, he had a lot of health. Oh, it actually blesses you in general. It actually blessed my other weapon too. I get some of my arrows back there. Um, those skulls seem unfriendly. Silverleaf. Uh, do I have one more bless in me? Or one more mend, I should say. There's a guy down here. I'm gonna guess you're not friendly. No, you are definitely not friendly. Stone blacksmith, nice. I do wish I could see enemy's health. There's probably something you can wear to do that, like a ring or something. Okay. These are pro these are ridiculous. These are probably gonna kill me. All right, there we go. I got away. Maybe. Nope. This one's still chasing me. They're literally just gonna chase me indefinitely. Nope, oh, turn around. Do they work like booze? If you look at them, do they turn away? Nope. Just don't want to go outside. Um, they were apparently just really weak to holy, and I didn't realize when I lost my holy buff that they were gonna take more than one hit. Those guys are kind of nuts. There's like serious contact damage going on there. Caged man's ear. Weird. Oh, okay. That's a trap of some sort. I can't break it either. It looks like it's that floor tile here. Yeah. Good to know. I do, I do not like these skulls. Not in the least. Oh, oh, this guy teleports. That's good to know. Uh, there's no secret walls over here, are there? Oh, that guy's still alive, huh? Was he taking less damage from slash damage? That might have been a thing. So far, this place is super brutal, even though I feel like I'm a very high level here. That's another trap. Can't destroy these either, which is kind of a bummer. I get this guy to come here. Have fun with that. This will do as much damage as I was hoping. You know what? Nope. A little fire helps. Uh, actually, probably just chase him back through here again. Have fun with that, buddy. Ah, oh, he blocked this time. There we go. He dropped just arrows. Usually they drop something a little more than that. Um, Lightning Barrage is a spell. Why is my... F oh, my focus bar is red because I have none left. Okay. 
I think I understand. Um, I am very much running out of materials, though. I'm actually wounded now as well. See, that's why I should I should save those men's for when I'm wounded, probably. Oh, that's very ominous. That doesn't move yet. Ray of Searing. Uh, all right, that looks unfriendly. Oh, uh, wait a minute, was there? Uh, that's another one of those giant knights, so we'll not go that way. I'd really like to find a uh, shrine or a sanctuary here or something because this area is just brutal. I was not expecting an enemy in here, unfortunately. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, whoa. There we go. Try not now. <laughs> okay. Drank another red shard there. Um. Oh, man. I only foresee this ending in tragedy at this point, but oh, uh, we shall press on. All right, I see that there's some skulls up there. One. Oh, that's not safety either. I can buy these pages, so I mean, might as well take advantage of them. Actually, jump up here. And crap! Expect lightning. Oh, I see that now. That's pretty nasty. Uh, can't get through there. Let's go to the lower path first. Oh, another one of these guys. Okay. Whew. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> maybe I will try the upper path. See if there's uh, anything. Oh, this is. I really need to find a shrine. Like, real bad. That's just an item. It's just some grenades. Uh, what's in here? Impen crest ring. You should do defensive fire damage, that makes sense. I figured it had to be something fire related. Uh, falling there seems like death, but I can't actually go back up. So, I guess I'm just gonna have to have faith that this fall isn't gonna kill me. That's kind of a mean trick. I fire for this guy. Oh, I didn't realize there were skulls here too. Oh, that's no. Okay. Oh, he's following me. Fantastic. Uh, he can't follow me in here, right? Oh, he can. Okay. Assuming he can't jump up here. Oh, that'll actually hit him from here. Yep, I have no shame. There we go. I wonder if these guys respawn. Armor Guardian's Ashes. Um, yeah, I wonder if those guys respawn at all, or if they're um, like the Bronze Knights. I 
I don't believe Bronze actually spawned. This door is also locked, so we need a key from somewhere around here. Left or right? Uh, okay, this gives me a silver leaf and a soldier's poem and a drop to my death. Oh no! Okay, hit that. Soldier's poems are uh, upgrade items, I believe. Can I drop through these stairs? Uh, no. Oh, hi. Are you a person? Mending band. And what are you? Ah, uh, yeah, stunning indeed. It's a wonderful view. Thief somewhere. Particularly useful rune. Pesky dragon. Oh, good. Uh, let's see where this goes. This is a shortcut out to like the front of the whole place. That would be really nice. And it's oh yeah yeah yeah. This goes like way back. Um. there does this lift work now because this was another one right no jump if careless ladder yeah um this is a dead end I guess I can ah I don't want to backtrack all the way just yet. Um, maybe I'll, I'll go forward a little bit and see if there's a, a shrine or something before a boss fight. If there's a boss fight, then I'll turn around, but otherwise I really don't want to backtrack through all that stuff. Going just through Bandit's Pass itself is not bad, but... Hmm, where did I get that item? I do wonder where these buildings came from. Oh, there's just some weird skeleton guys here. Well, these are the cage guys. They have, like, cages on their heads. I didn't notice that before. Silver leaf. More silver leaf. Stone guy, nice. So I was told that I can use the guides to go pretty much anywhere. This is the actual hunter set. Uh, I haven't been down here, right? Cause this must. Is this a shrine? Oh, it's a sanctuary, like a legit sanctuary. It's out this side. Uh, let's see. Actually, I have to equip it, I guess. Nice. Whew. All right, so we can get two levels up here. And, um... We could put some things here. Put a blacksmith here for an attack bonus. Um... We could... We have a stone alchemist, but I already have a place I can do alchemy stuff. Although I don't have a guide at that place, do I? I'm a little concerned about using all of my guides too early. Um... Maybe I'll just leave that for now. What can we do about upgrades here? Although I just spent like all my salt, but... The bow is upgraded with endless fangs. Might not be a bad idea. Lock of hair for the whip. What about my harvester? Soldier's poem. Actually get a 
two damage increase. It actually seems pretty significant. Uh, this Polax. This is what really confuses me about this game. Um, the Polax has really good scaling. It has super, super low base damage, so my Harvester or Haymaker is actually like way better. Maybe, um... Maybe if I upgraded the Polaxe it would be better? Oh, this is a Stabber. It has a very similar moveset though. I don't know, it's not a bad weapon, actually. Got a similar combo. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the better option here is. If uh, because this is gonna retain the bad scaling, but it's still getting big increases. This would take like a lot. How much salt do I have? Maybe I should play around with it. Um, and just see how much salt I have on hand. Quite a bit, actually. Which is a bundle get. 250. A bag gives. 500. Sack gives. 1,000? 800. Also, I don't, I don't think there's a way to use these all at once. Might as well dump all these here, um, play around with this a little bit. So let's just take a quick look. If I was to upgrade the Polax once, it goes to 34. Uh, what was the Breach Pike? See, the Breach Pike is... S dexterity scaling that goes from 12 to 27. I guess because it's only scaling from dex? Because this is only B scaling. It goes from 12 to 34. I guess because it's getting both of the scaling, even though it's a lesser scaling. See, that's only going to go to 35. Or 36 if I upgrade it to 2. And that's where my Haymaker is. Haymaker just seems like such a superior weapon, even though it doesn't scale. Like, its base damage is just so damn high. See, the other oddity is the this greatsword is 14, but it's got S and C scaling, and it goes up to 43. Um, it is slow, though, so I'm not a huge fan of that weapon. Um, upgrading my bow might not be a bad idea. Yeah, there's definitely some oddities here. I'm not understanding in how things scale. I feel like it's actually almost a product of it being such low number values. Um, I know it's probably all percentage based and all, but it's... I think it's hitting some weird... some weird scaling issues. Well, it doesn't really seem like a big increase on these, does it? That seems relatively significant. Yeah, I'll do that. Why not? It's also the matter of uh, upgrading armor that I haven't done yet either. And that seems fairly significant. I'd really like to wear that, um, that Onyx armor or the, the Cavalier's armor. Um, but it's super heavy. I'm trying to compare these real quick. Can I upgrade this again? Get another two damage. Maybe I should. What the heck, right? If I'm using it, I might as well. I know if you transmute things, uh, they retain their level minus one. 
Um, like it'll upgrade and it'll upgrade into the new form already upgraded, but you'll just lose a level on it. I would go to 18. So that needs hateful jawbones now. What does this mean? The Lord's orders. Um, I don't know if it's worth upgrading a shield. In case I ever decide to use this, I guess. I know I can buy locks of hair also. Yeah, I'll upgrade these to plus one. Maybe I'll work on some endurance, or just pick endurance on the path to uh, my next upgrades. I haven't found any more whips or anything either, unfortunately. Or good upgrades to the whip. The whip I could upgrade was not very good. Um. Well, let's see. All right, Durin's are the horses. I wanted to get to that heavier armor, for sure. So we can do this one here. And we go strength or dexterity. I guess for my purposes, it doesn't matter a whole lot right now. Uh, so we'll go strength. What's my role like now? It's like that. What if I put on that armor? Well, actually, it makes my slash defense like ridiculous if I put on that armor. I didn't even realize that. Like how much of a difference it. Would. Yeah, that's that's a kind of a bad roll. That's like a fat roll. Ninety-three percent. Um. That's at. 70% seems actually not bad. Um, what about 75? 75 is pretty bad. Gloves don't weigh much. That's a pretty solid roll. So maybe I'll go with that for now, and then I'll upgrade more, and we'll be able to wear that. Anyway, I think that'll do it for now. That was a lot of micromanagement there, but um, I think next time we're going to end up fighting a boss. So uh, that will do it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you soon.